Hello my dear learners, in this video I am going to share the two important tools in Microsoft PowerPoint and also the Excel 365 which is based on AI and this will make your life easier, okay. So without wasting any time, let's see what are those tools, okay. First of all, this is one of my PowerPoint slide, the competitive advantage, this is the slide that I have prepared for my lecture. For instance, so I would like to make this slide a bit more colorful and bit more articulated with the help of AI plugin. And for 365 Microsoft, it will come automatically. Those who don't have the Microsoft 365, one of the way you can achieve the 365 is to get the institutional affiliation where the institutions you belong, write down, use the institutional email for applying the 365, the version of Microsoft, it will automatically, Microsoft will give, and give, it, give it to you and you can use it at the name, as a name of institutional affiliation. The other way is that many of digital marketer who is selling this Microsoft 365 in Facebook, Google or Facebook, in the Facebook box, you can write down, I want to buy 365 Microsoft version. You will see in the Facebook there are many organizations those who are selling a very cheap rate Microsoft 365. Just buy it, download and install in your computer. That's it. Okay. So this is the downloading part. Now the interesting part. The interesting part here is that you go to the home, home uh, tab and you will see here the designer option. You see the designer option. If you click that designer option, Okay, this will allow you to design the whole slides. You see, you can see that in the right hand side, the, the slides are now a little bit different, correct? Now, again, if I want to change these learning objectives, you see learning objectives are one, two, three, four, many. But in here, you see the learning objectives are AI is suggesting me and not one. There are many ways you can do it. Like, for example, the right hand side, this one, this type. For instance, if I want to select this one, just select it and you will see that all those information are now divided into 1, 2, 3, 4 suggested by AI of PowerPoint. You do not have to do a single work, okay. Next, let's assume that this is the one that I would like to design it. If you click the design option, this will give you a more informative information and they will suggest you something here. So you can go and check what are the suggestions given to you, you can use from there. The next one, let's say there are many information here and you want to change those information in a more systematic way. One of the way is like this way, you can add some additional picture to demonstrate your work, okay. And there are any other ways you can do it by just clicking the designer option, okay. Even the, the front size, the one that I have chosen, you can use this one as a uh, part of your starting PowerPoint slide uh, introduction. And then again, there are many slides the AI will propose to you. You just have to pick and choose and it will automatically redesign your content very easily. So don't worry, whatever you are writing, the AI will do the rest if you know how to use it. So the designer option in Microsoft 365 will help you to summarize all the information that you need in a very nice way for your PowerPoint presentation. Now next one I'm going to share is called the Microsoft 365, the analyze data tab, which is based on AI. You see here that this is one of my data set and there are many data you can see here. Now, if I want to forecast any of this data or any type of question that I am going to ask about this data, the AI will help you to answer it. So, how can I do that? Go to analyze, okay. And then, what very interesting, you just write, I want to forecast, forecast, what do you want to forecast? Let's say I want to forecast the CO2, sorry, CO2. Uh, emission per capita. This is the variable that I am going to uh, CO2 emission per capita. Okay, This is the variable that I am going to uh, 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 forecast. So you can see here that the AI already shared this information. This is the 
emission rate this is the emission rate okay let's assume that i am i would like to i i would like to forecast ni the net energy okay the net energy for instance so in this case the net energy intensity okay the energy intensity you can see there is a energy intensity here there is a forecast value okay this is the forecast value okay now if you want to make a bar diagram let's just ask them okay let's assume that i want to use a line diagram line diagram of ae for example this is the variable i would like to make a line diagram okay if I, I if i want to use a line diagram this is going to be shaped like this so you see because it is a panel data so the line are looking like this if it is a time series data it might be looked differently okay and ae ffe r eep these are all the name of the variable in a short form don't worry about it you can write down your sales your revenue or price information and ask this analyze data option okay what you want from this data let's assume that you do not know what to answer the uh, i mean what to ask okay in that case the ai will give you some suggestions for instance here you see show total etdl by year as a line chart show carbon dioxide and average ae inside the etdl let's say i want to choose this option i would like to see what the ai is suggesting to us you see the ai is summary the carbon dioxide emission per capita giving us an average uh, energy uh, prices or uh, average uh, energy uses is given here as well okay so exactly the analyze data option is giving you the ai base information which means you do not need to do anything in microsoft 365 analyze data ribbon will do it for you if you know what to ask about your data so these are the two tools designer option in microsoft powerpoint and analyze data in microsoft excel will help you do your work on behalf of you very easy and simply so i hope this video is useful for you and i'll see you in the next tutorial Bye-bye.